Honda's new hydrogen fuel cell delivers more power at half the cost. Here's what you need to know. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your go-to destination for the latest insights into automobile diagnostics, vehicle programming, and cutting-edge automotive technology. Before we dive into today's exciting topic, I want to take a moment for an important disclaimer. This video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. Every demonstration, discussion, and explanation provided here aims to enhance your understanding of automobile diagnostics and programming. We strictly follow fair use guidelines, using images, clips, and references solely for educational and review purposes. No copyrighted materials are used for commercial gain, and all trademarks and brand names mentioned belong to their respective owners. Always follow official manufacturer guidelines and adhere to local laws when working on vehicles to ensure safety and compliance. Now, before we get started, I have a small request. Most of you watch the videos, but a lot of people forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing is absolutely free, but it makes a huge impact in keeping this channel running and bringing you the best content. So, if you haven't already, take a quick second to subscribe, turn on notifications by ringing the bell, and stick around till the end. If you find this video helpful, a super thanks would be an amazing way to show support. Let's jump into it. Honda's breakthrough in hydrogen fuel cell technology. Honda is making a bold move in hydrogen fuel cell technology by breaking away from its previous partnership with General Motors and developing its latest fuel cell module entirely on its own. This next generation hydrogen system, called the Honda Next Generation Fuel Cell Module, is a game changer. It offers more power, improved efficiency, and a smaller footprint, all while slashing production costs significantly. If you've been following Honda's hydrogen journey, you might remember the 2025 Honda CRV EFCV. This plug-in hybrid hydrogen crossover featured a fuel cell system that was co-developed with General Motors. While this vehicle is still available for lease in select California dealerships, Honda has now decided to go solo for its latest advancements in fuel cell technology. So, what makes this new fuel cell so special? Let's break it down. Power output has nearly doubled. The new module has an impressive 150 kilowatt power output, which is nearly double the 78 kilowatts output of the previous unit that was used in the Honda CRV FCV. This marks a significant leap in performance. Higher voltage for more versatility. The system's voltage range has been expanded, now delivering between 450 and 850 volts, making it compatible with advanced 800 volt high voltage batteries. This opens the door for next-gen plug-in hybrid hydrogen vehicles, where the fuel cell could act as a backup power source. In comparison, the older system had a voltage range of just 275 to 600 volts, limiting its flexibility. Improved efficiency with a smaller size. Honda has increased the maximum net efficiency of the fuel cell from 56.8% to 59.8%, which means more energy is extracted from hydrogen, reducing waste. Alongside this, the module's physical volume has been reduced from 557 liters to just 300 liters, making it far more compact while delivering significantly higher power density. Power density has skyrocketed. Due to the size reduction and power increase, the volumetric power density has surged from 0.14 kilowatts per liter to 0.50 kilowatts per liter. This means Honda has packed a lot more punch into a much smaller package. A slight weight increase for a big performance boost. The weight of the fuel cell module has increased slightly, going from 454 pounds, 206 kilograms, to 551 pounds, 250 kilograms. However, given the drastic improvements in power, efficiency, and compactness, this trade-off is well worth it. Massive cost reduction and durability boost. Honda has made remarkable strides in cost efficiency. Compared to the fuel cell module used in the discontinued Honda Clarity, the new system costs roughly one-fifth as much to manufacture. Even compared to the fuel cell co-developed with GM, production costs have been slashed by 50%, making hydrogen technology much more affordable. On top of that, the durability of the module has increased by over two-thirds, ensuring a longer lifespan and greater reliability. What's next for Honda's hydrogen plans? Honda has announced that this next-generation fuel cell will enter mass production in 2027, but they haven't revealed which vehicles or even which types of machines it will power. While hydrogen fueling stations remain rare in the U.S., mostly clustered in California, the potential for hydrogen fuel cells goes beyond passenger cars. These powerful energy sources can also be used for electric generators, industrial equipment, heavy machinery, and even commercial transport vehicles. Interestingly, 
Honda isn't the only company making major moves in hydrogen technology. Toyota, which manufactures the Mirai hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, has also recently announced the development of a next-generation hydrogen power module that promises more range and lower production costs. With multiple automakers pushing advancements in hydrogen, we could see a bigger role for fuel cell technology in the future. Final thoughts and a big thank you. Honda's latest breakthrough in hydrogen fuel cell technology is a huge step forward, not just for the company, but for the entire clean energy industry. With more power, better efficiency, a smaller footprint, and drastically lower costs, this innovation could bring hydrogen fuel cells closer to mainstream adoption. The big question now is, will Honda introduce a new hydrogen-powered vehicle, or will this technology be used for something bigger? We'll have to wait and see. Before you go, I want to take a moment to thank all of you who regularly watch and support this channel. Your engagement, comments, and feedback mean everything to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below, and if you really want to support the channel, consider leaving a super thanks. It's a small gesture that helps keep the content coming. Thanks for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next one. Happy diagnosing.